North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's top deputies made a surprise trip to South Korea this weekend, meeting with the prime minister in their first visit there in five years. The meeting comes amid intense speculation about the health of Kim Jong-un, who has not been seen in public in more than a month now. Joining me is Sumi Terry, a former senior North Korea analyst at the CIA, who later served as deputy national intelligence officer for East Asia. And with a welcome to you, um, Sue, North Korea has said this weekend there's nothing wrong with Kim's health, but there's also the video of him limping. He's not been seen since September 3rd. What are you hearing about what's really going on? Well, there's rampant speculation out there of all kinds of things, but I don't think there's any truth to them. I think in reality, he's really recovering from ankle surgery. But of course, this is North Korea, so no one really knows. Um, but I think we should be careful about just speculating so wildly. Okay. What about what we should read into yesterday's meeting in South Korea? What's your takeaway? Well, North Korea has always employed this stick and carrot strategy or provoke and then turn to charm offensive or peace offensive strategy as, as part of its dealings with foreign countries. And so while the visit is very unusual in that three high level officials went to South Korea as a last minute visit, um, I don't think it's unusual that North Korea had decided to turn to charm offensive stage at this period. And I think the main reason behind it is mostly economic. North Korea is seeking to for South Korea to lift the sanctions that has been imposed um, since mm. 2010 when North Korean Navy torpedoed a South Korean vessel and killed some 46 mm -hmm. sailors. What about the nuclear angle here, Sue? Because while all this is going on, North Korea's UN ambassador said this past week that they're ready to go back to the negotiating table for these stalled talks on the nuclear program. Do you think we're seeing a broader rapprochement from, from North Korea? I think it really remains to be seen. I, I think North Korea has no problem returning to the talks. But are they really serious about giving up nuclear weapons? I don't think any serious North Korea watcher actually thinks so. So I think we just have to watch and see. As I said, it's a charm offensive stage now, and this is, that's all part of it. How much does U.S. intelligence really know about what happens in North Korea and what the leaders are thinking? Well, the intelligence community calls North Korea a hard target or a black hole for a reason. It's really one of the hardest target of hard, hard target countries uh, to analyze, particularly because it's so closed off and information is very um, limited. Uh, uh, and particularly when it comes to leadership regime intentions, it's very difficult to figure out what's going on mm. in North Korea. I would like to get your take, Sue, on the pro-democracy demonstrations going on right now in Hong Kong. Do you think these protests have the power to incite real change? Well, that also remains to be seen. I, I think what's most important is to see how Xi Jinping reacts ultimately. Um, we know that he has complete control over China. He's a very strong leader. He has not shown, um, you know, that he he's shown to be a hardliner in, in many aspects. So that's the most interesting question. Um, I think he he doesn't have a lot of room for error here, um, and he has to be very careful in how he acts, how he reacts, because if he reacts too forcefully, I think it might lead to uh, potential uh, instability. Okay. Sumi Terry, many thanks for your insights. Thank you.